Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently on Instagram, I shared that I would um, show you guys what I would be packing in terms of makeup for five months of travel. And I did write on Instagram that my only guideline is um, whatever fits into this makeup bag is all I'm going to carry. But um, I do have to retract that statement a little bit because I realized that I had other products that I'm not currently using, but I know I'm going to need um, in a couple months time. So I actually have a second bag here. I got this makeup bag on Amazon a couple of years ago and unfortunately I don't know the brand of it on top of my head and there's like zero branding on it which I actually really like. So starting with my base, I've got three products right here. Um, the first one, this is Josh Rosebrook's Nutrient Day Cream in the tinted version. I have the one fluid ounce and this is uh, my daytime moisturizer with SPF. So I always like to layer up with this first before I go in with my Glossier Skin Tint. And I only have, I mean, I just shook it up so you can't tell, but there's definitely less than half of the product left because I have been using this almost every single day. And this last product, you guys might be surprised to hear that I have this because if you've been with me for a while, you know that I tried the RMS Beauty Uncover Up um, two years ago about and I just could not get it to work with my skin. Like no matter um, what I did underneath before putting this on, like it just kind of made my skin very dry and flaky. But recently when I was in Sydney, um, I was at the RMS Beauty counter and it was the first time that I was able to see all the RMS product, RMS Beauty products in person. So as I was playing with all the products, I just, I don't know why, this kept like tugging at my heartstrings again. And um, I just decided to, you know, pick it up and try it again. And I actually really, really enjoy this and I'm not having that flaking issue. I know my previous pot, I ordered from... I think some website either in the UK or somewhere in Asia and maybe I got a bad batch, I'm not sure. But I have had no issues um, with application with this um, pot. This actually doubles as my foundation and concealer so I didn't know exactly what category to put this in but yeah this is a great base as well as concealer. So other than the RMS Beauty Uncover Up, the only other concealer that I'm taking with me is this one. This is from Urban Decay and this is the Naked Skin Concealer. I've been through at least like three or four of these. Um, this is so great. I think it's really full coverage without feeling heavy. And um, when my skin is like at its worst, I can I heavily rely on this. So I'm bringing one powder with me and this is a pretty tough decision because I have been using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder for at least the last three, maybe four years now. And that I really, really love the performance of that concealer, um, of that powder. But I do have a little bit left. The the jar is pretty bulky, like in regards to how much product I have left. So I think I might dump that out into a smaller container, or I'm hoping that maybe I could even finish it up before we start traveling. So instead of getting another big um, jar of the Laura Mercier translucent powder, I really wanted to try out a Glossier's Wouter and I got this with my Glossier Credit. That's what it looks like on the inside. Um, this one is not as matte as the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This one definitely has more of like a skin-like finish, so if you like the satin matte look, satin, not satin matte, sorry, satin look, you'll like this um, because it does kind of let your natural oils peek through just a little bit, but if you're super oily, I don't, I don't think you, um, would be crazy about it. I'm not very loyal or devoted to this product or anything yet, but we'll see how this performs, especially in like humid Southeast Asia weather. I've got three cheek products and oh, this one was really tough for me because I really, really love the Au Naturel um, blush, the one that looks like a dupe for the NARS Orgasm blush, but I really had to narrow it down um, to only include cream cheek products just for ease of application and so I'm actually going to gift the on natural blush to my friend Sandra she loves the color um, so yeah the three cream cheek products I've decided on are two of Glossier's cloud paints okay I've got the colors dusk and beam 
I have all four of the Glossier Cloud paints, but I find that these two colors are the most flattering on my skin tone. And this is really easy. You just squeeze out a little bit and then you can just blend it with your fingers or it also blends with a Real Techniques um, sponge or a beauty blender. But I find that if you use a sponge, it does kind of soak up the product. So yeah, very easy to apply with your fingers. And then the third cheek product, um, this is Bite Beauty's Multi Stick in Brioche. You guys have heard me talk about this many times. I love this because you can use this as an eyeshadow, as a blush, as well as, um, as a lipstick. And I haven't used it on my eyes yet. Yeah, I haven't. But I love this color as a cheek product as well as a lip color. I really love how multi-purpose this product is. Yeah, I'm just crazy about it. That's about how much I have left. It blends out beautifully uh, if you just blend it with your fingers, but I really like the finish after blending it out with a um, beauty sponge, so I'm definitely taking that. I've got two products from my brows. The first one is Glossier's Boy Brow. Um, you guys know I love this stuff. Um, it's just to help shape and it adds a little bit of color onto my brows, so I really love to groom them with this. I was on the fence about getting one more of this because this is my last one um, from my stash but instead of getting the Glossier because I already know that I love it I wanted to try something new and possibly longer lasting than the boy brow. Longer lasting as in I think a tube of this I don't know why maybe I just use a lot of it <laughs> I feel like I go through it in like a month a month and a half and um, yeah anyway I wanted to try a new product this is from Eco Brow and it is called the Defining Wax. I've heard this is pretty comparable to Anastasia's um, brow wax. I haven't brow wax. I forget what it's called, but um, I haven't used that one. I have used, I think, her Brow Wiz, the pencil one with the spoolie on the end, and I didn't really like that one. But yeah, this is like a cleanly formulated alternative to the Anastasia one, so I wanted to try it. And I love how tiny it is. Like, I feel like, um, if it was any bigger than this, I'd worry about the product drying out before I could finish it. There's definitely a learning curve because I haven't had to fill my brows in a while. So I, the verdict is out on how much I love its performance or not. This is like maybe the third time that I'm wearing this today. So I don't really have any solid thoughts to share with you. The next category is lip products. And I have to say, this is, um, I have the most products in this category. Narrowing down the lip products was, I think, the hardest of all the categories for me. And even now, I feel like this is pretty excessive, but I don't know. I don't want to pare it down any more than this. Like, I'm happy with my decision. So, okay, let me start out with the first one. This is Osmia's Lip Doctor. Um, I got this as a sidekick product earlier this year when Osmia was a featured brand in one of the Beauty Heroes discoveries. I love this so much. It's a no fuss lip balm. It has like a very subtle, it reminds me of this cocoa butter lotion that I used to wear in high school. It's not heavily fragranced or anything. I really love this um, to the point where I bought another one and you guys might see it in here. I imagine it's in here or it's in my um, backup skincare bag. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. I made the decision to only pick one Generation G lip from Glossier and I chose to go with the color Crush because I felt like the other lipsticks are kind of similar to the other shades that I have and also like one of the Generation G's it's a like a deeper berry color which I feel like is more appropriate for fall and I don't see myself wearing that color um, in the next few months in Southeast Asia and whatnot so I'm going to I actually have a little stash of products that I'm going to be sending to New York to my mom so she can hold on to them for me. But yeah, just one Generation G in Crush. This was also a tough decision because I have three Axiology lip products, but I only am taking two of them with me. The third one will, again, be sent to my mom. I'm going to be taking Valor, the lip crayon. This is, you guys, my favorite. Um, I'm wearing it on... <laughs> I'm wearing it on my lips today and I've been definitely been reaching for this one the most of my lip products and then I am taking infinite with me this is the more sheer one right there yeah the other one is that orange color um, I think it's called worth and it's a little bit too seasonal for me it's not something that I would wear on a 
um, everyday basis and if, especially if I'm traveling and I have limited space like I don't want to take a lipstick that that I'm not gonna wear very often so yeah those are my two Axiology lip products I've decided to take one and only one lip gloss with me and that wasn't hard because I only own two lip glosses and I have to say, I really, really enjoy Modern Minerals. Coming from a person who just, I'm not one to like lip gloss. Like, I liked lip gloss like back in high school. But I have to, I have to say since then, um, I'm just not really a fan, you know. I'd rather have a nice lipstick or a balm. But yeah, that's the color right there. This smells incredible and it's not drying to the lips. But it's also not goopy to the point where like, you know, do you guys remember the MAC lip glosses like back in the day? I feel like they were just like, it was like thick syrup on your lips. And you know, when your hair would get stuck in them, oh, it was just so, it felt so gross. But yeah, I really, really love this one. Um, this is in the color Pad Parashka. And the last lip product is my Dior um, Color Reviver Lip Balm. Again, if you have been with me for a while, you know this is one of those products that I have a hard time letting go of because it's just... Gosh, it's so perfect. I mean, you can't really see it here, but I love this. It's super hydrating and I love the color on my lips. I'm just gonna use up what you see right here and I will um, let this go. So my next category are beauty tools that I use every day. The first one being this spoolie. I bought this for like a dollar here at one of the drugstores. And I use this right now to brush out my eyelash extensions. But I imagine um, after these fall out, I'm not going to be getting a new set anytime soon. So I'll probably use this to brush out my brows. This is an old MAC brush. It's an angled brush. And I remember I bought this like 10 years ago, you guys. I think this is one of the first beauty tools I ever purchased. And um, I bought this because I was trying out gel eyeliner. I think it was the MAC Fluid line in Black Track. I feel like that was such a classic product. But I actually use this with my eco brow to you know fill in my brows i've got a finished boy brow and i put this blue masking tape on it to you know so i don't confuse the two this is one that still has product left this is an empty one and i didn't want to throw it out because i'm using this as a dry spoolie to brush out my um, brows right now since i'm using the other one for my lashes like i don't want to put brow product in my lashes right now so um, until I don't need this one anymore for my lashes, I'm going to be re repurposing this as a thing to brush out my brows. So yeah, I've been using this every day. I've got one makeup brush. This is the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki. And I like to use this to set my face with powder. Um, I also like to use my uh, beauty sponge to set it with powder. But yeah, I like that I have an option and it's just like this one brush. I've got a pair of tweezers. Um, I got this like locally in Korea at a store called Artbox. There's no branding on it. I have a mirror here. I got this a while ago and I like it because this fits really nicely into this pocket right here. So that's nice for on the go. Last but not least is my makeup sponge. I currently am using the Real Techniques and you guys know I'm not a huge fan of this. Like I personally prefer the Beauty Blender, but I bought a pack of four and this is the second one that I'm on. So I'm going to finish it up and then I don't know, I'll decide um, if I'll go back to the Beauty Blender, but I probably will. So that's everything that's in my black makeup bag, all the stuff that I'm currently using. And then I have one Glossier pouch here with backups or makeup that I'm planning to use throughout my travels, but not right now. So the first thing is in this really nice reusable cloth bag um, from Stark Skincare. I love that Jess um, it has all her products packaged in uh, the cloth bags because you can totally reuse them later and I have a bunch, but I am keeping my two brand new Real Techniques sponges in here. I've got a uh, loose powder foundation here from the brand Alima Pure. This is the Satin Matte Foundation. And I bought this um, earlier this year. The shade that I chose is quite dark. Like I feel like even if you look at it from the container and you compare it to my face, it's a lot more yellow and more tan than um, I am right now. But I did notice that after the Philippines, when I got really tan, this was a great color match for me. So I imagine while if I do get darker in Southeast Asia, this might be a good fit. And 
I can totally use this um, Sigma flat top brush, kabuki brush to apply this. The next one is my glossy skin tint. Um, this one needs no explanation. You guys know this is my go-to and so of course I needed to have uh, just one backup of this. I have another Dior Color Reviver lip balm. I bought this at the airport um, sometime this year and because it was a limited edition or First of all, I read that this was a Sephora exclusive, which wasn't the case because I found it at a duty free because it was cheaper than, you know, if I were to buy it in Korea. That's the color. When I finish the coral one, I'm gonna start using the berry. I've got one thing of mascara. This is from the brand Kiss Me. Now, if you guys have been with me from the beginning, like I'm talking like 2014 or 15, I forget. Um, since then until now, this is still my favorite mascara. Um, there are two formulas from this brand. There's the volume and curl and the long and curl and I always get the long and curl mascara. It does such a great job at, you know, making my really short sparse Asian lashes look somewhat full and it does hold a nice curl and I just have the one. I haven't like bought multiple backups. Although I might, I might buy a bunch because I don't think that you can get this in the States because I've tried looking for them on Amazon and I haven't had much luck so I might buy like some backups and then maybe ship it to my mom in New York but I'll just be traveling with the one here is my Surat Beauty eyelash curler um, I've had this for a couple of years now and I love this one it's a bit pricier than the other um, curlers that I've tried like the Shumera or the Shiseido but of all three like I prefer this one the most it's great next I've got a NARS sharpener this one sharpens it very very well and there are two sizes of pencils that you can sharpen with this so I'm taking that because I'm bringing my one and only eye pencil and this is from all natural this was from the makeup selection for earth day this year i think the name of this color is coco but yeah i really like this and then the back of it there's a little sponge tip so you can blend it out this is my one and only eyeshadow palette this is from too faced this is the natural matte eyeshadow palette and do you guys remember this? I used to wear this all the time in my morning chats. I just haven't been wearing eyeshadow in a while, but this is all, all the colors that I'll need. So all the makeup that I decided that I won't be taking with me while traveling, I've either donated or I've set aside in front of me here. I'm not going to go through every single product, but yeah, minus the ones that I've given away to friends. The products right here, these are going to be the stash that I'm sending to my mom in New York. And, you know, I'm going to be visiting New York sometime early next year. So I can sort through it again you know at that time but I just don't need it right now all right so that is it for this video we leave in 15 days you guys that's so crazy when I say like two weeks that seems like so much more time but when you actually count the days um, leading up to the day that we're flying out of here to Thailand it's 15 days so yeah I have a few more packing videos coming up I'll leave it at that for now Thanks again for watching and I'll chat with you soon. Bye!